What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 15 in the math three questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question gives us a piecewise function, and we're supposed to find the value of h of negative 4 plus 3 times h of negative 2. Now this question, just like question 14, is going to test us on evaluating piecewise functions. So I'm going to use the same example that I did from question 14 and think about an hourly wage job that you work. Now you'll keep working for your regular wage until you hit 40 hours. Once you hit 40 hours, you start getting paid time and a half. Now this is a good example of what a piecewise function can look like um, because we can see that from zero to 40 hours, we're making some amount of money per hour. And then from 40 hours onward, we have a steeper slope, which means we're making more money. And this is the way that you'll see these written. You'll see the range of x's um, that, that each part of the function will go with. And then we'll have to look at each value of x that the problem is asking us to plug in and see where it would go. So h of negative 4. So if my x is negative 4, negative 4 is not greater than itself. It would fall in the less than or equal to negative 4 range. So I would plug negative 4 into this one, and then h of negative 2. Negative 2 is greater than negative 4, so I would plug negative 2 into this one. So let's go ahead and actually start to write out and figure each of these out. If I plug negative 4 in here, that's negative 1 half times negative 4 minus 15 which ends up being negative 1 half times negative 4 is positive 2. Minus 15 is going to give me negative 13. So negative 13 is h of negative 4. And now here, I plug in negative 2 to 20 minus 3x squared. 20 minus 3 times negative 2 squared. All right, so first I evaluate my exponent. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. 3 times 4 would give me 12, so 20 minus 3 times 4 is 20 minus 12, which is 8. So h of negative 2 is 8. All right, and now we just need to go ahead and actually figure out this expression. So this would be h of negative 4, negative 13, plus 3 times h of negative 2, which got us 8. So 3 times 8 is 24, and negative 13 plus 24 gives us positive 11. So 11 is our answer. And just the last thing I need to do, I would need to do for this problem, is pull out my gridded response um, page. Because if you take the paper test, you'll have to end up doing this. So I would write my answer of 11. I would give each box one digit, find my one digit or one find my one bubble under each digit where I've written a one and bubble it in. 